All right, so we're back for episode two of how to be a top level painter. And in episode one, we went over the things that I look for when I'm gonna be going to a new shop on what I like to see that I know that that shop is gonna be a good fit for me. So in this video here, we're gonna go over what the shop is looking from you to be a uh, good employee. So there's a lot to it. So let's get this video started. All right, so I talked to a lot of people about this question here. What is the number one thing that they look into? Because you guys know my number one thing when I go to a shop is, do they have the work that I need to do what I wanna do? So after questioning all of these people in the business and I went around asking quite a few people about this question, they all said the same thing, that when they give somebody something to get done, they want it to get done fast and right. So getting things done quick and right is uh, one of the biggest things that they all seem to agree on on uh, being a manager or an owner of a shop. So that's definitely one thing you wanna look at right away is, are you efficient and do you get it done right? So the next one is communication and you gotta communicate in a body shop to be able to get everything done the way it needs to be done. So communication is definitely a big, big thing in uh, keeping a shop flowing. Cause you guys know that the customers communicate to the estimators then the estimators have to write the job. They got to get the car out here. They got to communicate with the body man. So when you get a car over in your stall and the estimator's going over that car with you and writing it, the better you can communicate that repair to that estimator, not only is it going to help you, the owner, but it's also going to help out the estimator write that estimate. So communication is definitely a big thing in the body shop. So definitely you want to be able to get across your message in anything that you're doing and uh, be able to communicate with the staff here. So that's definitely one more big key to uh, what they're looking for in you. So also they're looking at when they're hiring somebody is how much experience do you have in uh, doing the job? So when they hire a tech and they hire him as an A tech or a B tech, they wanna know that he has the experience that he needs to uh, do the job. So when they're looking for those positions, they definitely want to have somebody that can do the job. So experience plays a big part in that. But potential is always good when they're hiring maybe an entry level guy or maybe an apprentice to uh, learn maybe the paint shop or even a body man. So that's another big thing they're looking for is experience. And you guys know as well as I do that this trade is losing a lot of guys because most of the uh, average age of uh, body men and painters is up there now. So we definitely need some more people getting into this trade. And to me, it's been a very good trade and uh, I've enjoyed it my whole life. And you guys know that I still love what I do. So to me, if there's any young guys out there that are still looking to get into something that you can definitely earn a good living and uh, support your family, this is definitely a trade that I would look into. So don't, uh, you know, be discouraged if you do not have any experience because there is a lot of companies and different uh, shops that will take you in as an apprentice and teach you guys and try to uh, make a tech out of you. So, so one of the next big things is problem solving. So you guys know we do have problems in the body shop from time to time and being able to handle them and get them fixed right away is definitely a big thing to a shop owner or a manager. So. We all have problems, but can you get out of them quick? And do you have the right mindset to be able to handle that problem and keep the day flowing? So these are all things that are definitely gonna help you as well as the shop to uh, produce a good amount of work out of that shop. So from time to time, there's always bloopers that happen. The body men may scratch something. You may paint something that don't match. You may get a run in it. And are you able to get that handled right away and uh, get that knocked out? So definitely being able to handle problems is one of the things you definitely want to be able to do and get them done quick. So, so we also want to talk about, you know, when they look at your attendance at work, how many days have you missed? Do you have any stuff that's going to keep you from coming to work? And uh, how often do you take off and stuff like that? Because that's definitely a big deal in the body shop because you guys know that when we're working on these cars, we usually have delivery dates. So if you're someone that always has things that you have to do that are definitely gonna hold back production in a production shop, that's definitely gonna play a part in it. So I've seen a lot of guys through the years come in late and always have excuses on why they didn't make it to work. And uh, that really definitely did uh, cause them a lot of grief 
in the body shop. So it's definitely a demanding job. You gotta be here all the time. You gotta come in early and sometimes you gotta stay late. So attendance is definitely a big thing in the body shop. So they definitely like to uh, check into that. And also emotion. So an emotion can play a lot in the body shop. So there's always things that we have to deal with in a shop that's problems. And it's definitely stressful. And I know that firsthand. So being able to cope with those things and being able to just calm down and be able to let the uh, time pass, it sometimes really helps out rather than blowing your top. And I've seen a lot of guys through the years that were good techs that just couldn't keep their uh, emotions under control. And to me, it cost them through the years. So those are the things that I like. Those are the things that the shop is looking for. And there's definitely other things. So go ahead and leave some comments down below on some of the stuff if I might've missed something. But that's some of the stuff that I went around and asked some people in the business what they thought. And we all decided that they were uh, good questions. So the next videos, we're gonna start prepping cars and showing you guys how I do it to uh, get the most per gallon of clear, to not waste materials, to always keep an eye out on the shop, see what's coming over and definitely keep an eye on production in a shop. That way you can always keep a handle on it. So you guys see here, I got this place emptied out and that's what I like to do. So when I leave the shop, I always wanna leave with everything done. So that doesn't happen all the time, especially when you guys know we get buried in the uh, body shop from time to time. But I always try to keep ahead of the body man and that's always worked out well for me. So. I hope you guys like this one. Leave some comments and we'll see you guys in the next video where we're gonna start actually doing production and we're gonna show you how I like to arrange cars and move them to get the most out of your day. So see you guys on the next one.